Good morning, April 5th. Heading in to see if we can match up that cheater bull for Trevor. We separated about 15, 20 minutes ago. And just kinda gaining elevation. I actually have a trail camera that I'm gonna set real quick up here. Cause I've been, last trip in, I saw lots of sign um, from the rut, rutting activity in here. And I think this is an area that gets very much overlooked during hunting season. So I'm gonna give it a shot. It'd be cool to find that set. And there's a couple other bulls that dropped in here as well that we know of, so probably. Don't, don't you think there should be an antler right there somewhere? I did. I thought that same thing. All right, see you, bye. Well, love it or hate it, this just happened. First camera of the year set right there. We're going trail camera pictures of this trough in this area that I think is basically very much overlooked for hunting elk. So, happy to get rid of a little bit of weight there. And time for the real mission of the day. Let's go oh, find the radio with Trevor and I said, I think I'm gonna find an antler. I don't know if this qualifies, but there is an antler and I found it. So I think it does, but man, it's probably 20 years old. Look at that poor sucker. That one's not even good for soup. There's this like, there's this fork. <laughs> That's awesome. That one's gonna stay there. It was a nice buck at one point, but I glassed up a nice muley deadhead down here. I'm gonna walk around. There he is. Unfortunately, this guy met his maker. Looks like a nice three by four. There's his legs, a couple legs right there. Looks like his back legs. Pretty cool deer. It's too bad. Really too bad. Looks like oh he's all busted right there on his eye socket. I wonder. I bet you that was a lion kill. Hmm. That's too bad. Nice buck. Greg is up there on the spine, about 600 yards away, and he told me, "I think I see something. Will you walk over and look for me." So what do you know? Look at this. I walked over and look what that man was able to glass up. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it up for him. They can't always be brown sixes, but this is just as good a sign that no one else has been in here. I'm, I'm cleaning up traps, uh, scraps for Tyler, or for Trevor, because he apparently walked right through here last week and didn't even bother to pick this guy up. He doesn't care one bit. I saw, this is kind of funny. Let's see if I can see here. I spotted what I thought was possibly an antler point right there above that rock. So I thought, well, let's walk over there and take a look. So I did. I walked over here. And what do you know? Look at that. A hard white deer antler. That's crazy. That's my third. Well, I guess you know, you found, I found that one really old nasty. Um, chucker. Yeah, that's a hard white, all right. Huh. Sweet, been chewed on that crazy on that front. Looks like porcupine's been in here again. My moose paddle from up here looked exactly the same way. Can't focus. Anyway, hard white. That's pretty cool. We'll try for the trifecta again. See what happens. A little deer shed way up here with the elk. 
walked right up. Oh, I thought it was brown. Wrong. <laughs> Chucker. Bad boy. Hey, how hey. are you? Good. Good. I want to be. I want to see that. Oh, there he is. Greetings. Dropped her packs. We're moving through this stuff where tons of fresh sign. Bulls have been back in here since we were here last. And we'll be lucky. We're spread out about 40, 50 yards. And I found what I thought was a brown because it looked like it was brown until I got up right on top and it was a chocker. Anyway, there's tons of fresh bull sign through here. Bull tracks every direction. And I remain optimistic that I'll find a brownie here pretty quick. I'll keep you posted. Blast this one up from a long ways away. Had to wait all day to come pick it up. Whoa. But he's cool. That's a good bull. That's awesome. That's very, very happy. I couldn't <laughs> wait to get over here and grab him. That back end is so sweet. That is. I'll bet he's 340. Yeah, that's my guess too. 340 if you had the other side. Look how long that Royal is. Man, that's going to... He's 15 on a G5 as well. Yeah. He's that's kind of short saying. up front. But... Yeah, he's better than I thought. What a beautiful shed. Yeah, that's sweet. Want to take a couple of pictures? Yeah, of course I do. Well done. There's our haul for right now. Trevor thinks he's a master shed finder. Are you? I can find one. Can find the, you, can at one. you can at least find that one, and it's a really nice one. Look at that. What'd you say? <laughs> that one's lovely. Uh, White tail, porcupine. If you know anything about me, you know that the, we're going to be eating steaks right now. Tyler, you see me? See me pretty well? Yeah, hey, I got you. you hey, can, yeah, there you are. <laughs> you weirdo. Eye of the round, super tender Isaac's cow. Wow, that is insane. I don't know if I've ever found one that small. So it looks like we found that, Trevor found that, what, seven hours ago? And he finally was able to match him up, hold him up, hold up that match. Right there. That's it for sure. You can tell by the way it is. Way to match him up, Trevor. Yeah. Well done. Well, should we get? Let's get out of here. <laughs> 